Hello everybody and hi, my name is Kieran and welcome to Winter, a game that, surprise surprise, I know nothing about, but it's not entirely my fault this time. I just looked up on itch.io and just the general web and I can find no traces of this game, so I don't know if it doesn't exist anymore? Or maybe we're both just engaged in a horrific fever dream. I don't know, I saw a lady with a skull and I thought, well that's quite rather interesting, so I thought we'd give it a shot. Let's begin, shall we? Act one. Turn up, my dudes. Do you need me to click on things? You do. Two years, four months, maybe a few days, over a hundred miles. Why is she here? Who? Are you all skull-faced? No, you're normal. You're just a bit... Eat a sandwich, maybe. Why is she at this party? I didn't move here just to avoid her, but, well, it was a comforting factor. I didn't expect to see her here tonight. I'm, I'm not prepared. Run away or say hi? Hmm. Depends what she do to you. If she really wronged you, then just go, but maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's something you need to talk out. Let's say hi, you know, be civil. Get her in an area of comfort, and then you can just crack her neck later. There are enough people between me and her that I can get a bit closer without feeling obvious. She's standing by the window, dancing in a low energy way. I have no idea what I can say to her. Dance in low energy. Keep it small, keep it tight. Hey, remember me? Hey, sorry about before. I didn't mean to kill you uh, or your dog. You know, just like, ugh, bloodlust, what can you do? I really liked you, please talk to me. That's a bit strong. I don't know what you, I don't know what you guys are or what you were. Hey, remember me? Do you? Hey, remember me? Sorry I made you scared of me. I miss you. Perhaps I would be better just throwing myself to the floor. Gosh, she's smiling. I scroll! Maybe she doesn't even remember me. Just chalks me up as another weirdo who wants to heal her. So hold on, what's happening right now? Hey, remember me? Sorry I made you scared of me. Is that her then? No. No, she's just ignoring me completely. Hmm. She dances with another. I don't trust you, lady, in your face and face. Where the face? Oh, gosh. She looks happy. He's touching her waist and saying something, and I'm just standing here thinking about whether I'm a creep. You're a little bit of a creep, but it's okay, because we all are. Maybe if I was still a guy, then it would have been fine. Oh. Oh, I see what's happened. You expect that kind of crap from a guy, right? N not a good guy. The kind of guy that you don't want looking at you, absolutely. But never the guys that, like, you do want looking at you. She's touching him back. I feel sick. I can't watch this. Yeah, you shouldn't... You shouldn't be subjecting yourself. I feel like you're hurting yourself. Hey, little mama, how you doing here? I'm out of here. Yeah, skedaddle. There's no reason to put yourself through that. Hey. Someone's- Oh, is it just a mask? Is it a mask or are you just like really skinny from the neck up? Someone's talking to me. I turn and I look at her. I think it's a her. I think her is right anyway. There's no face for me to tell. Not that it's necessarily reliable. I just sense the energy. No, you... Yeah, vibes are really all you got to go off here, ain't it? An energy despite the matte off-white bone that stares back at me. The dark eye sockets and the pallid skull. Maybe my drugs have just started screwing up again. I shouldn't have drunk. Wanna get out of here? <laughs> no. Do I know you? Not yet. But I know you. I can see the shadow that follows you. You can see me too, can't you? Girls like us should stick together, you know. I don't want to stick together. I want to talk. I want to go home and feel sorry for myself. I have no idea what you mean, and like us. I think I just had my Audi turned into an innie. I think you just ripped off your face. I don't think we're really the same to your sister. Like us? He takes one to no one. You pass very well f for someone functional and right. If you hadn't nearly started crying when you looked at that girl, I wouldn't have even known. 
I love your boots, by the way. Thank you, they're Uggs. Screw you, you don't know anything about me, say nothing. Yeah, let's let this play out a little bit. After a moment, she clears her throat. Never mind. I have wine. A whole bottle, see? She holds it up conspiratorially. Somehow I get the impression of her winking. <laughs> just her bones, just... Why don't I go anywhere with you? Where'd you get that? Take the wine. Yeah, I'm... Maybe it's because I don't trust people as a basis. I love them, but I don't trust them. Why should I? Sell yourself to me, but not in that way. I'm not like that. She sighs and looks over her shoulder. This party sucks. And you look like you want to cry. Let's get schwiggity schwiggity schwasted and vent together. Uh, friends as an adult are hard to come by, sure. Let's talk, I guess. Fine. Let's just ski-daddle already. I don't want to cry where everyone can see me. Her jaw opens slightly in a horrible impression of a grin without skin. I know just the place. I don't know that I trust you. And it's not just because of the... thing. Then we're on a bench in a quiet section of the park I didn't even know existed. She opens a bottle of wine with practice, chucking the cork over her shoulder, and takes a swig. Okay, at least she's drinking from it first. Also, public drinking, I don't think that's legal in Canada. Is that legal in the States? Or is this British? I'm pretty, I know, I'm pretty sure it's legal in Britain. When she hands it to me, there's somehow lipstick on the rim. I drink, I hesitate. She could have like smeared something on the rim. I hesitate. I just, if you're gonna come on to me to be my buddy, I wanna see some, I was gonna say I wanna see some skin, but I mean like neck up skin. I want, I just don't wanna be friends with a demon right now, okay? I hesitate. She makes a little drinking motion with her. <laughs> Fine, I'll shrug a lug. I drink, it's not very good wine. As long as it gets you shwasted. I take another swig. So what's your name? Girl with two shadows. I hand her back the bottle. Meredith. I brace for a laugh, but it doesn't come. She cocks her head to the side and makes a hmm noise. Nice name. Cute. Old fashioned. I agree. Bit of a mouthful to say every time, though. I... Mary, maybe. She takes a swig of wine and pulls a face. Like out of her back? No, Mary doesn't suit you. I'm going to call you Red. Hey, you could not. Also, you're not. She looks at me, some sparkle visible in her eye sockets. I think I'm getting used to her lack of a face. Almost. Whatever you say, Red. Why were you about to cry back there? I think I haven't hit her just because of the sheer affront of her questions. Why should I still s spill my guts to some random faceless girl in the park? I don't even know your name. She waggles the bottle of wine at me teasingly. Give me that. She lets go without protest, and I raise it to my lips. You think I don't know you, Red? Maybe you're right. But I can guess. There's something about yourself that you can't live with. Some part you think abhorrent. To be hidden away from sight. Only hiding it inside wasn't enough. You could feel it in there still, burning like a hot coal. Some hot black little lumps inside you like a smoldering heart. You hated it. You hated it so much that one day you wretched that hecker free from yourself. And since then, you've told yourself you feel better. But you don't really believe that, do you? It's not a good absence. It's not like excising a tumor. It's something more vital. You cut through your heart, and now it beats at the door of your soul. Come again, little mom. She stops talking as I stare, dumbfounded. Bottle of wine raised halfway to my lips. Rummaging in her coat pocket, she pulls out a pack of cigarettes and lights one casually, clamping it somehow between her teeth. That's how I feel, anyway. And my name's Winter. So now we're uneven. 
You gotta tell me about yourself now. British word for cigarette? Something like that. No, I don't smoke. Nah, don't be smoking out here. <laughs> girl, you already smoking. Good girl. Smart. Your loss. Might as well just talk then. I take another swig of the bad wine whilst I try to process what she said to me. I feel like she's told me some secret, sticky part of herself. But like she's told me nothing at all, too. The girl in the party was not really an ex. Did you walk in on I'm cheating? That's an interesting tidbit. I want to hear more about that, actually. Oh, that's not a choice. That's just a thing. The girl in the party was not really an ex. We... Uh... <laughs> I black out as the shadow talks through me, giving its own monologue. When I snap back, Red is finishing her cigarette. And I mumble the last few words. And, um, we haven't talked since. Now she's happy, happily dancing with some guy, and I'm... Drink. Better to get your emotions out. Hold on, they're playing with my perspective here. Red is... F oh, no, no, because I didn't smoke, because I'm red. Am I winter right now? I'm going to cry. I can feel my chest get tight. I really don't want Winter to see me cry, but I don't think I have a- Who are you? Who are you? I really don't want Winter to see me cry, but I don't think I have a choice unless I just run away now. I hand her the bottle and bring my knees up to my chest, heels resting on the edge of the bench. So where does the shadow come in? I want to cry now, but Winter's constant pushiness isn't leaving time. I'm angry that she keeps asking and spiteful enough to tell her. I wonder if she'll call me a... Two. Is that what you're afraid of, Red? Attraction. Lust. Myself. I don't know. I'm confused. But like a good kind of confused. It's artistic. Myself, madam. I'm scared of what I wanted to do to her. Still want to do. And not just her, but others. Girls I knew before, or who I see maybe once and just think about idly. Girls aren't meant to have these thoughts, are we? Especially when we're trans. We're meant to leave that behind. Just be nice and, like, receptive, inoffensive, and pr unproblematic. But I think about how I want to touch, or hurt, or yuck her, and I'm just... I can't do it. I can't do it, but I want to. I feel like I'm trespassing. Unwanted and imposing but I can't stop wanting to. And what used to be just some awful black part of my heart is just grown and grown till it was always there, looking over my shoulder. I'm scared. I'm scared of the part of me that follows. I mean, boy or girl aside, it seems like that's a pretty... Those aren't abnormal thoughts to be having, no matter who you are, you know? Everybody's got some dark parts to them. It's not about what you think, it's about what you act on. I think, I think you're doing fine so far. You're just a person, by the sound of it. Call me crazy! I rest my head on my knees and try to keep myself very, very still. I've said too much, I've been too much. Well, I don't know what being too much means, so I'll say I've said too much. The urge inside me is to either stop moving forever, or else to flail and throw myself into the duck pond. Before I can commit to running away, Winter takes a deep breath and nod. That's wild. I look over my knees at Winter's expression. She looks... pleased. That's wild? Say nothing. Yeah, what does that mean, dude? I mean, we're almost exact opposites, you and I. You are scared of being attracted to someone and everything that entails. And I'm... It's being attractive to people I can't stand. I don't know how to make myself feel vulnerable or to tolerate someone's eyes on me. What's that phrase? Mortifying ordeal of being known? I want to, but there's armor I can't take off, baggage I can't put down. I look at her as she talks, her body language shrinking and the casual arrogance from her earlier falling off like melting snow. She cradles the wine in her hands, bottle nearly empty, and laughs. You know what we have to do, Red?
They don't call it boning for nothing. I have no idea. Yeah. We should help each other. We're complimentary. We have a hang up about attraction to people and I... I don't. I can show you. Teach you. And you can show me what it looks like to be comfortable in your own skin. Comfortable being looked at. I uncurl my legs and look at her, processing what she says. You're not suggesting we date after talking for 15 minutes. Because if so, I am so down. Not dating, just helping each other. I have someone I like already, and I want to be attractive for it. You have someone you like, right? The girl from earlier. As if that was ever a relationship that could happen again. Could or should happen again. I've burned that bridge, and I've known that for a long time. But I want to reconcile this part of myself. Something about Winter's intensity makes me trust her. It makes me want to trust her. So I say it. Okay. Winter leans down to put the bottle of wine on the ground. Out the way. She reaches out to me. No. She reaches out to my shadow. I can almost feel when her fingers touch my other self's cheek. Like a memory of being touched or a whisper of a breeze. Can I kiss you? Yes, no, kiss her first. Ma'am, I don't know how you're going to do that, honestly. I just realized we're wearing the same jacket. I think we're the same person. I think that's my inner self, or maybe some of my other insecurities. Should I kiss this person that I've just met 15 minutes ago, drank like an entire bottle of wine with, which would be setting in in the next little while. I mean, sure, why not? She grins tipsily and leans in to kiss me, to kiss the other me. It feels strange to watch her do show, show. So, white bone against black shadow. I can feel something warm on my lips, but it's barely there. I just stare at her for a second, so close to me feeling something twist in my mouth. She draws back and wipes her mouth briefly with the back of her hand. Blood? No. Lipstick smeared across her teeth. Then the shadow takes over again, and I black out. I have... No idea what's going on, but it's kind of cool. Act two, please. What do you mean you don't cook? Oh, no, we dating now. Winter shrugs and pours herself another glass of wine, cigarette between her teeth. I just don't. If I eat proper food, I buy it. Like restaurant food. I look at her dumbfounded. She must be spending as much on takeout as I do on rent. How the heck do you afford that, little mama? That seems so lazy. I'd miss cooking. Yeah, how do you afford that? I mean, obviously you're saving money on skincare, <laughs> but we aren't all broke PhD students, Red. I'm not that much of a stereotype. I only spend a day a week on studies. The rest is programming. You should really take it up, honestly. Pay is great. Really? You think I'm a stereotype? You think I'm a stereotype? I think this is gonna be joshing. We both are. That's the joke. Girls like us were broke or we're programmers or both or baristas i guess but then first when i first started transitioning and i or hmm, yeah, that's getting a little too personal she slowly waves fingers at me to tell me off besides you didn't come here to criticize my cooking did you <laughs> I mean, if you don't cook there's not much to criticize and i mean yeah, no, I would criticize you. Holy, holy, happily, very intensely. I'm thinking this is the same night, so I'll just say no. I really don't understand the ramifications of any of these decisions I'm making. I don't know if I'm in the right mindset to grapple with these ideas today. Tell me what you were doing this time. She takes a seat in the depths of her sofa and sips her wine, watching me. So, there's this girl. There's this girl. There's this little shoddy. I tell her about Lily. I tell her about the girl in my lecture who sat next to me twice now and asked me out for coffee once. We haven't gone out yet. It's tomorrow. 
Cha-ching. What do you want to do with her? As I talk, we start our little dance again. Can't remember how many times it's been now. Six, seven, maybe? The memories of each visit are so hard to pin down. Just wisps of half-remembered touch. Winter lets me talk, and as I do, she performs whatever I say on my shadow. The fuzzy half-feeling of it ripples through me, as if muffled through cloth. She never seems self-conscious as I tell her to do. A as I tell her things to do, never questions them. I never really let myself look at her for too long. Gradually, my shadow seems to change. It looks like me in a silhouette, but it's like there's another person layered over. I have a horrible feeling it's Lily. Part of me feels guilt for this play act we perform, all mixed up with the guilt I feel for having any feelings in the first place. I thought maybe it would start to go away after we did this a few times, but it's barely made a dent. Instead, it just feels I've made Winter culpable for my desires too. Which feels... <sighs> Winter senses something is wrong and turns her attention from my shadow to me. Do you want to stop? For a moment, it's difficult to talk with her fingers in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want from you, dude. Things is weird right now. Winter draws back, kneeling in front of me on the bed. Kate's head has been broken now, and I see the three of us as if I'm from above. My shadow and Winter backing away from each other, like guilty teens caught in a cupboard, and myself watching the two of them from barely a foot away. The clothes Winter picked out for me barely register until I realize I'm cold. I've been cold for some time, and never noticed. You don't seem as into it today. Yeah, I'm... I don't seem to be. It doesn't... I seem to be a bit out of it. She looks at me for a moment, then starts hunting around for her hoodie. You don't think it's working. I honestly can't answer. It's difficult to even know what I think. Everything feels like muddy water. I curl my knees up to my chest and sit like that for a minute on the bed. The underwear Winter gave me to wear digs in the sides, making it harder to breathe. Do you really feel it's helping you at all? My dude? She turns to look back at me, unsure for a moment. Am I getting anything out of this? Does watching you be comfortable with feeling attractive help me? I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel anything about it either way, but I don't say it. Winter's eyes are hollow as she looks at me. They don't burn. It's difficult to tell. Knowing someone else can do what I can't isn't having the re revelatory effect I thought it might. I laugh into my knees and let myself unfurl again, laying down and looking at the ceiling. Winter sits on the bed again. Kieran sits very confused and flabbergasted. When I watch you make the sweet succulent coitus to my shadow, it feels like there's some quality you have and I don't. Like something, like someone gave you permission to feel these things and that makes it all right. I hear her take a sip of water and sigh. I suppose you gave me permission. Maybe that's all it is. I'm glad you can feel that. You think so? I know what consent is. I do know what consent is. There's something I understand that's happening here. I don't know, you think so? Heck if I know. Yeah, maybe. But it's not just permission to feel good or take what you want or impose. It's more like one partner gives permission to the other so they can feel vulnerable. She looks away. Is there a difference? What if they don't do the same? I washed my hands shortly before recording this and I just taste soap now because I stuck my fingers in there. Is there a difference? Yeah, Red. It's not the same as being vulnerable. It's not the same as feeling safe being vulnerable. And if you don't get to feel that, if you don't both get that, then you have something deeply unbalanced. 
one person barring their soft little heart and the other stepping on it like a snail on wet pavement. Disgusting. I pull a face. She grins back. She can't help it. Are you scared of that? She doesn't reply straight away. I can hear the clock ticking as we sit on her bed in silence. I mean, you have to face your fears, don't you? So I hear. Isn't that what we do? Do you? So I hear. She stands up and turns to face me. I've got a date. I raise my eyebrows in surprise. <laughs> a date? Hey look, there's my shadow. My, the Mr. Shadow Mains. She shrugs. Doesn't come across as nonchalant so much as evasive. That's what this has all been for, right? Guess it must be working. You let me see how it feels to be comfortable in your own skin, and I put it into practice. Is it the guy you mentioned before? She nods and holds my gaze defiantly, as if she's waiting for some criticism. I don't have anything to say. Neither do I! What's... Is, am I dumb right now? Because I'm not following this in the slightest. But just for a moment, I can feel it. As sharp as ice. I feel angry and bitter and broken that Winter has found more in hookups than I have. That she's going to outpace me and leave me on my own. That this isn't a respite for me. It's not healing me. It's not helping. It's... I feel something cold wrap around my hands as my shadow comes closer to hug me, embrace me. Winter's eyes widen very slightly. Okay, I got that bit of it. In a moment, a sentence or two, I could crush whatever tiny embers of confidence she's trying to keep alive. Tell her that everything she's begging me for will never work, as if they could really, as if she could really learn to be comfortable from me, learn to love herself from me, when I can't even keep all of myself together. But I know the urge is terrible, some monstrous thought that's gone as quickly as it came. I'm not angry at her, really, just me. So I find the words. Good for you. Act three, baby. Let's bring it home. And such. Are you guys following this? Cause I, am I just dumb? I don't know. Maybe I'm just having an off day, which I do have sometimes. And I'm just not as intellectually stimulated. My phone drags me out of a stupor as it rings. It's nearly midnight and my tea's gone cold. I've forgotten as I drift off. Gosh, I don't want to talk to her. Not tonight. But it's nearly midnight, and Winter's calling me. Okay, I don't know who she is, what our relationship is like. It's kind of seeming like hooking up, but also like for a with a common interest of not hooking up anymore. But if someone hurts my bony faced broad, they're gonna be two bony faces out here. Let's answer. Make sure she's all right. I answer the phone. Hello. The sound of the other end of the line is crying. Winter. Are you okay? There's a pause. She lets out a shaking breath. No. Can I come over? Somebody hurt my girl? I pimp smack a fool who hurt my girl. Let me take Winter huddles at the end of my bed, her legs drawn up to her chest. I place a glass next to her and join her on the bed. Near, but not close. Sorry, it's this. All I've got is cheap vodka. Winter necks it in one and her shoulders hunch as she makes a face. And she stares down the empty glass and talks. In her hands and talks. So I listen. I went to see that boy finally. Like I said. We had food and some drinks. He seemed nice. Interested, you know. He listened to me. It felt really good to get that attention. And I like him. Liked him. I don't know. What happened, darling? We went back to my flat and he... We started to make out. It felt so good at first to be desired. I felt confident. And he was so complimentary. I thought... I thought it meant I was attractive. I thought I could live with it. If that's how it felt. Gone? But it felt wrong, gradually. Like he's no longer seeing the person I'd been earlier. Talking and flirting and being human, you know. He felt like he was just looking at me and seeing a trans girl. 
an archetype. No, that's too kind a word. A cut of meat that he liked. And I wonder if he'd ever seen me as anything different. Did he hurt you? Because if so, I have to kill him. And while I'm willing, I'm a very busy guy and I don't really have time for the jail time. But do I have to kill him? No, nothing like that, but... I thought maybe that I just endured it. I just had to endure it. I thought that maybe I just had... I thought maybe that I had to just endure it. That this is just how it feels, right? I hated it more and more as it went on. But I couldn't tear myself away in case I stopped just before it suddenly started feeling right. But it never felt right. It never did. And when we finally finished, he couldn't even look at me. He didn't look at me the same, even when he left, like there was a distance, or like it was an act. Touch. I reach out and touch her shoulder. Winter flinches a little, but doesn't push my hand away. You deserve better, Winter. She sniffs and looks in my face for a moment. I can still feel his hands on me, like a drop of dye in water. She grabs my hand suddenly. Can you drown him out for me, Meredith? Ah, uh, what you mean, little mama? She pulls me towards her by the arm. Her grip is soft and bitterly cold, but it's comforting too. And when my hand reaches her skin, have I ever actually touched her like this? I can feel my shadow stir next to me, remembering. If I have to keep feeling someone's hand on me, I won't mind if it's you, Red. You. I don't want to believe you see me the same way he did. Are we about to smash? I don't think that, Winter, I don't think if, okay, Winter, if you want to have sex, I don't think you're in a good enough mental state right now to be making those kinds of decisions. You feel me? I really think you got to sleep on it, but I certainly don't. Actually, no, I, I couldn't think of you the same way. That's a supportive thing to say to a friend. Help me forget then, please. I'll tell you what to do, what, what he did. Just like the other times, like I did for you. This doesn't seem healthy. My shadow guides my hand to her neck and I don't fight it. Winter twitches as my fingertips brush her skin, willing herself to stay still. He started with my blouse. Winter, this is not good for you. I mean, I think you need therapy first, more than anything. We can talk about this in the morning, dude. Just sleep over and like, let the immediate effects of all this mental trauma wear off a bit. I don't think we should do this. I don't think this is a good thing. I don't think this is a good way to manage your problems, dude. I'm gonna hesitate, because I... I just don't think this is a good idea. I don't think this is a good thing to do. I don't think it's a good thing to mask sexual trauma with more sex. You know? I just don't think that's effective. Or safe. Winter watches me for a moment, then takes her blouse off and lets it fall to the side of the bed. Her skin is so smooth. Out of the corner of my eye, I see her look at my face, watching me, waiting. You're pretty. You've never shown me before. I mean, I don't want to facilitate what this- This is not the time, okay? <laughs> you need emotional support. Obviously the physical stuff isn't helping you, because it hasn't before. So why are you thinking it's going to, to this time? Because what if I look at you the wrong way after, and then suddenly you think I'm not safe either? This is not what you need, my dude! Wait! I look up at her, waiting for some kind of sign that's, it's okay. Red, please, I, I need this. Fine, touch her stomach, make sure she's eating well. Just, <laughs> just tickle her stomach. I let my fingers drop to her stomach, tracing them along her side. Where I touch her, Winter instinctively moves away as if I've pushed. She makes a squashed little noise and closes her eyes. It feels strange to lead this dance. My shadow wraps itself around me, its hands on the back of my own. I can feel its heart beating through me. 
I think about how Winter did this before to my shadow. I wonder if that's how she wants me to act. Or... Shoot! All right, tell me what to do. Give me the 10-4, little mama. She takes a deep, deep breath, recounting. He had rough hands. They never stayed in one place long enough to get used to. Nothing like Winter's. Did you like that? Did Was that good for you? No. When I asked him to touch somewhere, he'd get bored after a minute and move. So I stopped asking. Where are we dropping, boys? Winter hesitates. Without saying anything, she takes my hand between both hers and guides it to her neck. I run the, my thumb along the line where skin turns to bone. Her breath catches as my fingers trace up her jaw and come to rest on her cheekbone. Uh, you're toasty! We should get a thermometer in you and not whatever I'm rocking. You know how your shadow felt? Like a real person, soft to the touch? She raises her own hand to touch my face in return, her thin fingers mirroring mine on her cheek. Then she shifts her hand to my shadow instead, watching over my shoulder, and touches its cheek. I feel the fuzzy impression of it again, like static. You know, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be a couple of ha-has and a hoo-hoos. I've never been so uncertain in my life. Feels nice. I like a little static, a little bit of pins and needles, you know? It's nice. Do you think it's really part of us? Or do you, or is your shadow in my face just some kind of delusion? Oh. Winter tugs the shadow by the collar and I fall forward with it, pinning her to the bed. She takes my hand and hesitantly guides it back to her neck. I oblige. I oblige, and she covers her eyes with the back of a hand. I never know if people can see my skull or if they just don't care. Would it be so bad if they couldn't? She peeks through her fingers at me. I've never seen her so fragile. I'm scared of someone being attracted to just part of me. To that part of me. Like I might run myself by revealing that I'm human too. Ruin myself. And it's too much to bear for both of us. You're not ruining so They might love you for it. Okay, not to pretend I understand what's happening, but I'm assuming the skull is maybe just like a part of her that she's trying to keep hidden. Which like, you should always be yourself no matter how weird it is, even if a bunch of people don't like you for it, because then the right people will love you for it. So they might love you for it, and that's a risk you gotta take. There's a lot of hurt, but there's a lot of peace that comes with love. It's high risk, high reward, you know, my dudes? Could you? I don't know how to answer that for a moment. It feels weird to want you for something that causes you pain. But I guess I do. Show me, then. Prove it. <laughs> She moves her hand away and I meet her gaze. Feels like I'm falling. It feels like I'm having hernia in my eye. Like a stroke in my pelvis. Like a rupture in my bits. I'm a bird losing its feathers as it tumbles through the sky. Winter wants the dark part of me and I want hers. If it's a delusion, my shadow and your skull, then it's one that's real to both of us. She grasps, wait, she grasps my hand gently again and guides it higher to her eye socket. If it's a delusion, what did you say just now? Would that be so bad? How many acts are there? I can hear winter breathing next to me and I realize I'm awake. I open my eyes and the two of us are still in my bed. As we sleep, facing away from me, slightly curled up, and as I start to rise, I can realize I can see her face. That her? Cause that's a pretty lady right there. Everything feels at peace. I sit there quietly for a few minutes, watching her sleep. It's just the two of us. For the first time, I can't feel my shadow behind me watching me. It's as if I've carried a backpack for so long, I forgot, and then finally took it off. Sounds like that feels pretty light. 
When I eventually get up, winter doesn't stir. But as the kettle boils, I hear her. Red. I call back and return with two mugs of coffee. Winter is sitting, rubbing her eye sockets, her skull once again staring back at me. She's smiling. I don't say anything. Where her blouse has fallen open, I can see the bruises on her neck. And my stomach twists a little. Satisfaction. When I pass her the mug of coffee, my shadow is right back again, cradling my arm like a splint. But it doesn't feel as heavy anymore. This I understand and approve. So the skull is the same as the shadow, which are the dark bits. Was this game metaphorical or surrealism? Because I went into it expecting it to be surrealism, which may be what's causing the cognitive dissonance and what's making me struggle to understand it because I think it is meant to be metaphorical. Uh, well, that's winter. I hope you enjoyed. If you understand what just happened, let me know. And if you're also confused, let me know. Because it's nice to not feel alone. Uh, bottom line, you are deserving of love and you're worth loving. I don't know. I don't know what I just played. I don't know if that has anything to do with what just happened. What just happened? What did I just do? Look, I had kinky sex with a skella woman. That's just, sometimes life goes that way, all right? If you guys would like to play it for yourself, the link is in the description. Maybe there's different endings. Who knows? I certainly wouldn't. Oh, I guess link in the description if I can find the game again, because as I said before, uh, it seems to be gone. It seems to be lost to the ages, so I'll work my hardest to try and figure it out. But yeah, that was cool. I love you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Sorry, I forgot the kiss. I am distraught. I am a confused little boy. I love you. No matter what. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.